Hello, you guys. It is Sage the Coach from Outside the Box, and I just wanted to jump on here really quickly and let you guys know about something that you might have been seeing on my um, social media um, pages. And so uh, last week or so, I posted a short promo video about a mentoring group that is coming up, I believe, next week that is going to be led by Dr. Reverend James Tan. Um, I'm really, really excited about this group. And I know you guys have seen the promo, but I know that that is much different from actually talking to Dr. Reverend Tan himself in person and getting a feel for what this group is going to be all about. So I wanted to, again, jump on here really quickly, let you guys know a little bit more about Dr. Reverend James Tan. I know he says I don't have to keep using all his titles when I say his name, but they sound good to me anyway. So... <laughs> So um, he's going to come on in a little bit and we're going to talk about the mentoring program and you guys get a feel for it. And then I hope at the end of this, you guys go ahead and sign up because this is going to be a very, very transform transforming group, transformational group. And so here we go. I'll bring Dr. Tan on. And Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> um, I'm really glad to have you on to talk a little bit more about this group because, you know, me and you have had conversations about the group. And I feel like that is much more powerful than just putting out a promo. And so I, I know a lot of people that I know are not necessarily familiar with you. Mm -hmm. And I really want them to get to know who you are because you have very, very powerful and insightful things to say. Again, if anybody saw the first video that we did together where we talked about Mr. Tan's book or Dr. Reverend Tan's book, <laughs> <laughs> um, I first um, was introduced to him through my church. He came as a guest speaker from the very beginning. I felt the spirit of God and I feel the spirit of God every time he speaks. And so I'm really excited about getting into this mentoring group to hear the spirit of God from him on a regular basis. And so, Dr. Tan, can you tell people a little bit about what this group is really about? Well, so here's where it is. This group is a mixture in balance of the word and the spirit, and how it applies to our spirit, soul, and our body. Now, you understand that scripturally, we are a three-part being. There is your spirit, which is the real you. There is your soul, which is your will, your emotions, your intellect, your memories, your imaginations. And how your spirit and soul interact is how your body responds to life. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes people take and they go to a ditch on either one side, and either way, it will hurt you. Exactly. In other words, we can go all spirit and make everything about God and everything a spiritual thing and ignore everything else, and they'll hurt us. Then you have the other, other type people who go on the other side and make everything an emotion. If it feels right, do it. If it feels good, do it. If it feels peaceful, do it. If it don't feel, don't do anything. Mm -hmm. Well, what happens is if we can have a balance of both, we will have a life in full the way God intended. Exactly. exactly. So when we approach, when I approach the mentoring groups, and this mentoring material that we're talking about is what I have used with businesses, multinational companies, government offices, mm -hmm. and churches and ministers. Mm -hmm. Now, for those of you who don't know me, on the other side of the world over there in Asia, besides overseeing many a church, I also work a lot with governments having done a lot of humanitarian work. And in order to do that, not only do you work with government offices, but you also got to work with multinational companies to fund the thing. Oh, wow. So wow. there is a broad spectrum of people that I have used this material with and used this material for because in a lot of situations, they'll have me come in to present this. Mm. And so what I have found is that there are principles in God's word that will apply to you regardless of what your religious beliefs are. Mm -hmm. Now, for example, one of those one of those principles is that what, however you believe is what you will gravitate towards. Exactly, exactly. You don't have to be a believer in anything. You could be an atheist and have that law work for you. Mm -hmm. Well, what if you and I, as believers or as business people, or as entrepreneurs, or as students, all of which have been in these groups I've done before, what if we could focus on these principles that work and apply them to everyday areas of life? Imagine how much richer life would be. Mm, mm. 
you see now you know this because you're in the business of putting out podcasts and programs to enrich people's lives mm -hmm. see the truth of the matter is life is mentoring you right now exactly exactly your relatives are mentoring you right now mm -hmm. that little thing we call the tv at home that's mentoring you right now mm -hmm. That little screen you have in front of you on your device, that's mentoring you right now. Mm. Life is mentoring you. Mm. The issue is, will we allow for intentional mentoring? Mm. So intentional mentoring is what this is. Mm. We call it amplified living, amplified discipleship. That's what we're calling this group. Mm. I've done, you know, I haven't done as many of these groups as I would like simply because of time. But when I do, the results have been phenomenal. It's always been a blessing to me to see how people have leaped and jumped in life. Mm. Uh, mm. But when we have intentional mentoring, what happens is we grow. L let me put it this way. You don't grow outside of intention. Mm. Mm. You do not. Mm. You, you could listen. You could you could you could watch all those cooking channels and cooking shows as much as you want every day. And I promise you, you will learn nothing <laughs> until you on purpose get yourself in the kitchen, get your hands digging in there and doing stuff, and then try and fail and try and fail and then finally succeed. Mm -hmm. You see, being around something and succeeding in that something are not the same thing. Mm -hmm. The power comes in intention. Mm -hmm not in surroundings alone yeah and i would even say based on even what you're saying the intention begins with knowledge because if you yeah. don't have the knowledge or you yeah. don't have the awareness which is again a very big principle in the bible like there's a lot of principles in the bibles that are timeless like it applies across yes. cultures across centuries of people and so one of those things is awareness and awareness is entangled with knowledge and yeah. so i feel like like you said about life mentoring you, I always have said, and I tell my coaching clients that life is a classroom. Like yeah, life is. is where God has put us to teach us certain things and he will use anything around us to do that. Whether it's your kids, like you said, a TV, uh, your marriage, anything. Yeah. And so it, but it's up to us to extract those lessons yeah. from life and then learn how to apply them. Yeah. And I see your group as like an easier way of doing that. <laughs> well, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you why it is. I'll tell you why it is because it is, a, we're talking about intention. Mm. And when you come into this mentoring group with us, it is a very intentional attempt to merge scriptural theology, scriptural psychology, and put them together into a whole man. Exactly. So this is not, in that sense, a Bible. It's not a Bible study at all. Yeah. Neither yeah. is it a motivational talk. But it is a combination of looking at divine principles. Exactly. We've talked about awareness. Some of the principles we're going to talk about are going to be obviously deep. Mm. And what I mean by that is that many a time the deepest things are the things we take for granted. Yes. But yes. it's because we take them for granted that we no longer see the value in them. Mm. And it's because we take them for granted that we don't dig deeper to see what else all is in there. The lesson underneath it. Yes. The lesson underneath it. Yes. And so in these in the previous groups I've run, and I haven't run all too many again because of time. I have done them with the churches that I did de develop with the business people I work with, with the humanitarian outreaches I do. But to put it together in a group like this is dear to my heart because I know what will happen. Now, in the previous groups that I have done with this, I have seen businesses start, churches start, businesses grow, churches grow. I've seen authors being developed out of this because mm. they finally took the leap mm. and, do, and thought outside of the box that they were in. By the way, let me give you a little nugget from the group. While we always try and encourage you to look outside the box, <laughs> end goal, listen now, the end goal of the group is to let you realize that there is no box. Mm, now you're talking about Matrix. I don't know if you've seen that movie, but yeah, that's one there of my favorite movies. Yeah. So by the time we get to towards the end of it, realization pops in 
that there never was a box in the first place. Wow, wow, that's really deep. That's so really I'm giving deep. you all a little preview of what mm -hmm. happens usually deeper part of it. And it won't even have to be something that will point you to. You'll realize that th there was never a box in the first place. Exactly, exactly. The only box that existed was the one you thought existed. Exactly, exactly. And and that's the power of perception because a lot of what you're saying is like we have to um, get the knowledge so that we can widen our perspective and live more from a place of understanding and growth and things like that. Well, that's the only way you can kind of get there. But perspective is everything. Like if you don't, if you oh, have a everything. small perspective, yep. you have a small life. So to yeah. speak. So yeah. Because you live, and here's another little principle that we're gonna we're gonna talk about and dissect. And we take a lot of time to dissect this. In other words, we don't just throw these principles out there. I literally walk through them with you mm. almost on a daily basis. Oh wow. Almost on a daily basis because I'm I'm almost there and, and I pour myself into this because it's so necessary. Mm. You know, your life goes in the direction of your sight. It's one of the principles we'll talk about. Mm. But yet your sight is a result of your of your focus. Mm. Mm. So in other words, because you determine your focus, you determine your sight, and because your sight determines your life, you determine your life. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> You know? I love this stuff. I really, really love this stuff. Well, yeah. I can all, all I all I can tell you is this: I can testify that these principles are tried and true in my life and in the life of literally thousands of people that I have the privilege of working with, whether as a group or whether one on one. You know, and I've been having on my heart to do this as a group more and more because I see that the intensity of it. And by the way, every group is unique because there is that mixture of diversity people in there. There is group interaction. There is interaction one on one with me. There is interaction among group members. You will walk out a richer person. Mm. You will walk out a more enlightened, a more awakened, a bigger person because mm. your sight will be bigger. Your expectation mm. will be bigger. Your mm. intentions wow. will be bigger. In wow. other words, you will be amplified. <laughs> yes. Wow. I mean, this, it really makes me really excited because I'm always hungry for like knowledge and spiritual food. And at this type of stuff, you it's not easy to find. Like, I mean, you have a lot of churches around here, but a lot of them are, you know, they stay on the surface because that's what some people need and that's fine. But when you really get down to some deep stuff and some real spiritual food, like this is one of those things and it always excites me. It well, let me tell you one of the questions that people would ask me was that we, they would ask me both ways. Some of them would say, I'm not a pastor. Can I benefit from this? And the others would say, I am a pastor. Can I benefit from this? And I'll mm -hmm. tell them, look, the law of gravity works whether you're a pastor or not. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. You don't have to be a pastor or not a pastor for the law. God's principles yes. will work for you. Yeah. The issue isn't what you do. The issue is do you recognize the principles and then do what you do? Exactly. Wow. That's great. So I'll, I'll, I'll guarantee you, if you are a business person, if you are a stay-at-home mom, it don't make a difference. I've had students come into the group. Yeah. College prep. Yeah. Their parents paid for them to come in. And yeah. put them through it. Wow! And they, and 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 they they walked out with as much as anyone else did in the group because they saw different. Yeah. The purpose, you know, life changes your perspective. Have you noticed that when you were five and when you were fifteen and when you were twenty-five and thirty-five, you see the same things different? I mm -hmm. remember as a kid growing up, going up to school, I had this long stairway I had to climb up every day to get to school. Mm -hmm. Well, I went back when I went back when I was in my 20s and 30s. Did you know that for some reason that stairway had shrunk? It didn't look so big no more. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it, it shrunk. I don't know what I, I, you know, it used to be. It used to be such a big deal to me. It wasn't anymore. Yeah, exactly. Well, of course, we know you. You know, I'm kidding. The stairway didn't shrink. I grew. Yeah, right. I grew. Right. Yeah. So when you grow. Focus on you because you is the only thing you can control. Yeah. You might not always be able to change their response, their desires, but you can change you. You can focus on you. And when you focus on what you can focus on, everything else will change. Yeah, exactly. So this group deals a lot with responsibility. Mm. Not blame shifting, but responsibility. Why? Mm. Because when you change what you can change, 
everything else changes. Here's another little principle we talk about in the groups. Mm, mm. But again, what is the one thing you can change? You. Mm, mm. I have no guarantee that anyone else is going to like me, agree with me, cooperate with me. I got no guarantee of that. Mm. But I can guarantee that I can change. Yeah. <laughs> True growth. Yeah. And when I change, they may not, but my response to them will. Mm. And my, when my response to them changes, you my results change. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I, I say a lot, like even what you're talking about, the power that we have through our choices is actually like a godly characteristic because we have the power to create our environment and God is, is a creator and we have that creative power also. So yeah. it is. And so that's what amplified living and amplified discipleship is. We shift the focus from what's around you to what's in you. Exactly. And from what's in you, you create what's around you. Exactly. Because you choose to see what you choose to see. Wow. And when, whatever you choose to see, it's real for you. Yeah. We don't have to deny what you see, mm. but we might help you change what you see. Yeah, exactly. Wow. This is great. Okay, you guys. So you've gotten a little taste of what Dr. Tan is all about. Um, I am so excited for this group myself. I hope you guys sign up for the group. Um, it's really going to be something. I, I mean, I, I said... Dr. Tan told me the group was a mentoring group. I added transformational mentoring group it because is. I know this type of knowledge is transforming. And, and that's basically what he's giving um, us a taste of now. So you guys, please sign up. If you have any questions or comments, you can email me, message me um, on my uh, social media pages or also on my, um, send my web page. And my email is also there. And if you want to know more about uh, Reverend James Tan or Dr. Tan, he has plenty of social media uh, accounts that you can look up. Um, you can also find his information on my website on the registration page. So you guys, please go, please sign up. It's going to be very, very uh, uh, uplifting, enlightening, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. And I thank you, Dr. Tan, for taking time out thank of your you. busy schedule. To I am looking forward to this group yeah, with you exactly. because you already have the orientation and I know your audience does too. Guys, it's going to be life changing. It's going to be transformational. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right, you guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. Again, go ahead and sign up, and hopefully I'll see you next week in the group. Have a good day. Bye.